Delhi's pollution levels have spiked to hazardous levels, bringing with it a lot of problems. You also might have been told to stay inside as much as possible. But did you know that the air inside your house could be two to five times more polluted? So how do you tackle this? Leaving the city is one option, but something we cannot exercise. I suppose investing in a good air purifier is the ideal solution. Since everyone isn't an expert in air purifiers, I did the hard work of figuring out some of the answers to common questions around air purifiers. Here they are. What kind of air purifier should you buy? It's always advisable to invest in models that come with a HEPA filter, which stands for High Efficiency Particulate Air, that can eliminate almost 99% of common airborne allergens such as pollen, dust, mold spores, and even pet dander. HEPA air purifiers are regarded as the most effective option in the market. Also, since these things are going to be placed in your rooms, make sure they are quiet. A noise rating of around 50 decibels is what you get from your fridge, so that's what you should target. Also, if you have more to spend, get one of those which have Wi-Fi. Then you can control it from anywhere you want. Air purifiers can range from as low as 8,000 rupees to up to a lakh. Prices can differ in terms of energy saving, compact design, parts and the overall quality. How much area does an air purifier cover? Air purifiers come in different sizes. To choose the right size, you need to consider the exact size of the room. You should also look at the model's air change per hour rate or ACH rate, which is number of times an air purifier can clean the entire volume of air in a room in 60 minutes. Most of the air purifiers mention how much of the area they can cover in the product specifications. Small purifiers are effective in rooms or spaces up to 28 square meters. Medium sized air purifiers can effectively work in rooms between 28 to 65 square meters in size. Large air purifiers can easily work in rooms between 65 to 176 square meters. So make sure you consider the room size when making that final buying call. How often should you change the air purifier filter and how much do they cost? You should replace the filters as per the manufacturer's recommendations. This ensures that your air purifier are performing at an optimum level. Also, it totally depends on the level of pollution in your area. Almost all the air purifiers sold today come with an indicator that notifies when you need to change the filter. Also, there are different filters in there. For example, the HEPA filter might last one year, while the activated carbon filter might last longer. It's advisable that you change the filter on time because if you don't, then the filter will be clogged and the airflow going through the machine will be reduced. The cost of air filters also depend on the quality and brand of the product. It's obvious that an expensive air purifier will have an expensive filter. How long do I need to run my air purifier? It is a misconception that running an air purifier for one to two hours is enough. Humans, home cooling and heating systems, and even pets introduce new contaminants into the room, which is why you need to keep running the air purifier whenever you are at home. Yes, it will result in higher electricity costs, but consider it a necessary evil. Also, at night, while sleeping, turn the purifier fan speed down and run it overnight to improve the overall air quality for your sleep. If you have a Wi-Fi model, you can turn it on a few hours before entering your house to clean the air. How effective are pollution masks and what specification should I get? I also wanted to touch upon pollution masks because you won't be spending the entire day at home, right? An N95 mask is ideal and can filter up to 95% of harmful 2.5 micron particulate matter or PM2.5. They're good for short-term usage. An N99 mask can filter up to 99% of the same but costs a bit more. These masks can be bought online for uh, between 150 to 300 for a pack of disposable masks, while you can even go for the reusable ones, which cost about 500 each. Pollution masks may help briefly, but don't protect against pollutants in the longer run.